Hello, this video here will be a demonstration on how to disassemble a Toyota uh, keyless remote. Uh, this also includes how to replace the battery in it. Uh, first, we want to start by doing this is a um, three button remote here, so it has the lock, unlock buttons, and also the panic button on the rear of it. Now, you can see here, it's a little harder to see on the video, but there's actually a little cutout uh, to split the case. Now, you can take a flat screwdriver or uh, possibly just a thin coin and just pop it in there. So, what you want to do is actually just pry it open. Now if you're having a little trouble you can go around the outside here if it's stuck together just to pop it open. So now you can see you have the back half here. Now just for the battery itself here uh, what you want to do actually is uh, continue with the button just pushing on them here just to push the uh, what it has actually is a rubber case that goes all the way around that uh, houses the circuit board itself. So you simply just pull apart the circuit board like there. Uh, then you can slide the battery out itself. Now the battery number is um, 2032. Now when placing the new battery you want to make sure the positive side goes up. Now the battery is marked uh, but it's also the flat side of the battery. Uh, that side there is actually the negative side. Now it also shows on the circuit board right here, uh, right at the top here, it does say where uh, the battery, the positive side does goes up there too so it also has markings on here. Now if you do have any contact problems, you can actually bend these little tabs up here, uh, just on the bottom side there, just to give it a little more pressure on the battery itself. Now, as to continue on further removal of the uh, key fob assembly here, you can peel the rubber out here. You can see that it just slides in there. Uh, now the buttons actually just pop out on their own. Now the unlock button here does go on the bottom here, like so. Uh, but it also does have a little tab on the top side there, which slides into a little cutout right there. Now as for the panic button itself, it does slide in with a rubber here, it actually does slide into a groove itself. So what you actually want to do is just, uh, sometimes you can get this with your finger here, and pop the rubber out itself. See there, it's the rear gasket out, and then the rear panic button. Now this is it for my tutorial video. If you have any comments or questions, please don't hesitate to post them. Also, rate and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.